हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल जियोलॉजी का हेयर वी आर सीइंग द स्ट्रक्चरल जियोलॉजी एम फॉर वेरियस जियोलॉजिकल एग्जाम्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज सॉल्टनिंग ऑफ द अर्थ क्रस्ट इज अकोमोडेटेड बाई आदर फोल्ड एंड ज्वाइंट्स और नॉर्मल एंड रिवर्स फॉल्ट फोल्ड एंड रिवर्स फॉल्ट एंड फोल्ड एंड नॉर्मल फॉल्ट so as you can see in these pictures that this is showing the representation of a fold and here in general case we have this much of length of any rock layer then because of folding the length is now decreased and as the folding proceeds the decrease the length will be further decreased so now we can say that folds will leads to the shortening of crust then there are two another pictures for normal fold and the reverse fold if you will see in the reverse fold we have the initial length this much and after the reverse faulting the length is now reduced that means reverse fold is also a shortening process okay here hanging wall moves upward and foot wall moves downward now in the case of normal fault initially we have this much of length then length will be increased after the normal faulting and here foot wall moves upward while hanging wall moves downward okay so now we can say that reverse fault and fold will leads to the shortening of earth crust and hence our third option will be right answer now question number second is a coal bed dips 50 degree towards north 45 west and its apparent depth towards north 20 degree west will be around so now let us make a uh, this direction chart north south east and west so according to our question the dip is towards north 45 degree and the amount of dip is 50 so that means strike will be something like this north 45 east okay now as we move from dip direction towards the strike direction the amount of dip will decreases and as we reach along the as we measure the dip along strike direction dip will be zero that means in between these two dip will vary from 0 to 50 degree and in our question it is 45 that is option number 2 here zero will not be the right answer because we are not actually the north 20 degree west will lie something here and it will not in the strike direction okay so hence second option will be our right answer now third question is distance between two points on a 1 is to 25000 map is 1.5 cm then the real distance between these two points on the field will be so now the scale is 1 is to 25000 that means 1 cm on the ground on the map will represent 25000 cm on the ground if it is asking the 1.5 cm so if we will multiply it that 1.5 cm on the map will represent 25000 into 1.5 cm on the ground so it will become the 37500 okay now this is the unit is now cm and the our answers is in millimeter meter and kilometers so we will convert into these scales and then we will get that it is 375 meter so hence second option will be our right answer now fourth question is each of the following two figures there is two figures figure number 1 and figure number 2 these shows a pair of overlapping strike slip fault okay so they are showing the overlapping strike slip fault with the sense of movement now you have to predict the nature of structure in the overlapping zone of each pair of fault 
so this is the overlapping zone and we have to find out the structures what will be the formed in this zone so here the in this zone the forces are tensional in nature that means they are moving away from each other and when the forces move away from each other they will leads to the formation of normal fault and the graben structure will be formed okay then in the second point here you are getting the forces are compressive in nature so if forces are compressive in nature they will make the reverse fault and ridge structure will be formed that means in the third option graven and ridges are the correct one and third option will be our right answer now question number 5th one is in the himalayan mountain belt rocks are deformed most common deformational structure observed in this region so as you know that himalaya is the product of eurasian and indian plates okay when indian and eurasian plate collides each other it will be the formation of mountain especially himalayan mountain belt so collision means we are actually compressing it the forces are compressive in nature and if forces are compressive definitely there will be generation of folds and the reverse folds so hence second option will be our right answer now question number 6 one is the deformational process in the upper crust are chiefly controlled by so in the upper crust the deformation is in brittle in nature as we move downward there is increase in pressure and temperature and as the pressure is increased the material will behave like ductile manner and as the temperature increase the material will behave the ductile process as well so that's why when we go deep in the earth's crust we will find the ductile processes generally the folding and brittle process includes the faulting and joints so here second option will be our right answer now seventh question is the apparent dip of a bed is blank space than the true dip so apparent dip is always less than the true dip so here third option will be our right answer now question number 8th and last one is in a recumbent fold the axial plane dips nearly at so as you can see that uh, this is a fold and in this fold this is the plane of this is the axial plane so in the case of recumbent fold as you can see in this diagram this is showing a recumbent fold so in this type of foldings axial plane will be like this okay it is nearly horizontal and the limbs are also horizontal like this okay so this picture is uh, taken from the kumayu himalayan region which is showing the high scale as a large scale fold so here fourth option will be our right answer that for a recumbent fold the axial plane dips at the zero degree so it's all about for today thank you in the next video we will see some next structural geology questions